All right, guys. So I'm back. I'm gonna record the second part of this now. Uh, last time we left off at three minutes twenty two seconds in discussing problems with TF two. So here we go. So next problem, the new casual game mode. That is one. Here, um, just a quick thing there. But I noticed the my phone isn't recognizing my face right now. Was recognizing the face on the TV screen right now. Like, yeah, I don't get it either. Especially since I once used a photo of myself to try and see if I could actually fold my face and lock, and it didn't work either. Big problem. Are you really Scorpion? That is one big. Um, Scorpion was probably the closest name he actually ever had to XX Scorpio Junior XX until he became Metallic Gameplay Twenty Three. I still hope he's gonna stay like that though. Just watching these videos and watching him constantly change his name. Crafty Gaming attempt one hundred second background was actually. Before he changed, it was actually just a video before he actually changed his name to the Scorpion, which is the video we're going to watch next. The problem is, one thing, it takes like an hour to get into the game. Also, with like the death of Val servers and pubs. Yeah, the casual, uh, casual game mode. It's slightly fixed, it is kind of fixed now, but there are still a lot of problems with it, I'd say. I mean... Sometimes I'll actually, I wouldn't bother with casual, I would just go into the community servers and then go on, say, CP Orange or some, something and then just go kill as many people as I can. Rather than playing objective-based game mode, going into casual, sitting there for an hour waiting for the game to actually search. But there was one time where I went in casual game, where I went in a casual game, hit the payload mode and clicked all maps and literally I got into a game in about two minutes, so that defeats this point. Pubs are more prone to hackers. I'm more prone to tryhards. Where Val servers are usually just cam. And they don't really mind what you do. Yeah, I prefer. I'm not sure. Pubs are. Um, like, Val servers are more cam and they are rid of the so called tryhards, but. The pubs though are more common and you'll more and they also have more people in them. Like, normally no one ever plays in Valve servers nowadays. Pubs constantly filled with kids raging, hackers, tryhards, and of course spawn camping. So, pubs. Well, I never encountered a kid raging in my life. I remember once going onto a trade server, and then there was literally this kid who followed me wherever I went. I taught him playing the game, and all, like he said, "Hey, how can I get the baby faces blaster?" And then I ended up saying, well, you could drop, you can get it at a drop, but you could craft it or buy it or whatever. I remember I would, like, he would just follow me wherever I went. And I honestly felt like a, I don't know, father figure. <laughs> it's a bit weird saying that. Yeah, I wouldn't really like to play in pubs much. I prefer, I just prefer the Valve servers. They have less hackers. Or have no hackers. And they don't want to make. Well, yeah, the VAC, but. The thing is, Valve servers are almost impossible to get on because everyone plays on pubs until casual came around, I think. But back then I didn't really understand casual too much because it just came out. And back then is only when is when I first got access to compet when I first bought my competitive matchmaking pass and I was able to play competitive for the first time, so this is when I first ever played competitive and also casual just came out came out then, so I didn't really understand competitive too much until I recently learned that competitive is just like CSGO. But it wasn't really recently, it was actually somewhat around the time of this video. Because in CSGO, if you're also um, losing match, you do lose a bit of rank. And kids playing on them either. Neither do they have much spawn camping. Or tryhards. So, if you're going on a server, you're definitely going on a Valve server. But because of this, don't even touch casual if you're planning on going to Valve server all the time. I can't quite remember, but was casual the death of pub servers or the death of Valve servers? Because now I'm starting to think, after watching a few videos on it, I'm starting to think it might have actually been the death of pubs. Alright. Next thing we're going to talk about. Or maybe the death of Valve servers, like I, and I'm writing this video. Is. I don't know what's happening. Oh yeah, raging kids. I know. I but I don't know why I'm talking about this because I never, 
I don't think I've ever encountered one of my, maybe once, I think I encountered one in my whole entire TF2, what you call it, career. <laughs> but in my entire time playing TF2, all 2,000 hours of it, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. In all my 2,000 hours of playing TF2, I have never, I probably only encountered one. So I don't know what I'm talking about here. Raging kids. It's useful. I know I'm a kid, but I don't rage. I'm going to really call myself a kid here. I might just be in the middle, because I think I was man, like 11 or so when I recorded this. No, not 11. 13 or 14. No, 12 or 13 maybe, I think, actually. Raging kids are mostly the guys that have been raising in Call of Duty or something. Well, yeah, I'm right. Well, there's something I would agree with. Most raging kids are from Call or people who come in expecting TF2 to be like Call of Duty. Think of games like Call of Duty. Yeah. They always think of games like Call of Duty. They're going with sniper like pulling out the sniper rifles, just, just that. It's not just that, I think it's the they also have the submachine guns as well, but no more luck I might say that in the video. But they but they're also responsible for just going out in the field with submachine guns and trying to make an offensive class without clearly reading that says support on it and then they're in they're raging when they get killed. It's like, here, why are you raging when you got killed? It's like, like oh no, I got killed. Like, this game sucks. I'm going to play Call of Duty. They do that. And then it's like, the reason you got killed is because you're going on the field with a sniper. That's like the stupidest thing you can do in TF2. And then like, they start raging when they feel like, what is not killing one hit? What? And then they don't realize that's a tractor cannon. And they're like, what in the world is this? It's like, this is stupid. This is stupid. Why do you people even play this? They're always like that. And then you're... And then you're constantly like... Shut up, kid. Shut up, kid. Shut up. And I don't play much Call of Duty. I do on Modern Warfare 2. I'm more of a TF2 guy. I don't play Call of Duty. Although I've been playing a lot more Call of Duty recently. In fact, I've played Black Ops a lot on my PlayStation 3. Much. Oh, by the way, if you can see Crafty Gaming in the background, they're actually messing around. I call him Crafter Game in this, even though he's called he was called the Scorpion in this, and he spelled Scorpion with an A, a bit like how I spell Ninja with a G. So, I was just wanted to discuss a few problems I had in TF2: raging kids, spawn campers, tryhards, um, tryhards. So this is some of the Ice Ninja, and. Signing out. Alright guys, so my opinion on that video. Um well first of all I could if I'm gonna rant about TF2, I might as well learn a few things first because it is kinda stupid that I completely get the whole concept of a tryhard wrong. Let's actually read a few comments. There's only two here. Tally Falco, thumbs up. Bob, spawn camping is fair. Your team is just too awful to get out of spawn. I replied to this as well. My issues arise when there's an engineer turtling a level through sentry constantly as you get killed. Even if you go spy, all it takes is one bump in the engineer and, and or said engineer to see you walk out of the spawn and be killed. I have encountered that a few times, but here, spawn camping, okay. Sure, sometimes the team would be too awful to get a spawn, but spawn camping is still unfair in my opinion. Hold potentially, hold potentially inappropriate comments for review. I'm never on YouTube on browser nowadays, so I never even realize that. So guys, that was that. And I'm going to stop the video again to record a part three because of I'm about to hit the 10 minute YouTube limit again. Bye everyone.